Well, a few showers working through, so we can check live pinpoint Doppler 12 and a lot of the activity here in northern Rhode Island, but it's starting to work down to the south and where you're seeing these specks of yellow. That's where it's tended to be a little bit heavier, even a slight chance of a thunderstorm as these work through. You can see it's a bit heavier in areas near Burville right now, and these currently are working down to the south. And overall, the chance of showers, the window for that is really the next several hours through about 10 or 11 p.m. There may be a light sprinkle or two after that into early tomorrow morning. We'll get more into that in just a second. Here's the latest on Tropical Storm Michael. Right now, maximum sustained winds of 50 miles miles an hour. Now confidence is growing that this will make landfall somewhere along the Gulf Coast, maybe in Florida, maybe further to the west. Too early to lock in on a particular solution, but definitely uh, folks on high alert here along the Gulf Coast. And currently the forecast actually has it as a category two hurricane. But one of the things that the uh, models really struggle with is hurricane intensity. So that is also not set in stone. And then it may go offshore, at least the latest guidance has it going offshore from the mid-Atlantic towards the middle to the end of the week. And you can see close enough to southern New England where we need to pay close attention. Right now, way too early to assume that this is getting near us, but certainly worth watching and we'll keep you updated on that over the next several days. In the meantime, we're looking at Narragansett with a nice evening here, a little bit breezy, and in Newport, we're seeing those temperatures still on the mild side. We have some low 70s in Newport right now, 68 in New Bedford, 73 westerly, 66 in Smithfield. A much cooler day on the way tomorrow as a cold front drags in some cooler temperatures. 72 our uh, weather report coming in from North Kingstown. Now you're seeing the showers moving through right now. Tomorrow it's a slightly different story. A warm front actually grabs some moisture, drags them up through our area, and that will give us a slight chance, chance of a sprinkle tonight and into tomorrow morning and also even into Monday afternoon. But you can see it's not going to be that widespread. We're going to start things off at around 11 p.m. This is when the showers start to gradually work offshore. And then overnight, you can see 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, little specks of green trying to pop up. So it's not really a heavy rain tomorrow morning, but there may be some light sprinkles here and there. Same story as we head into Monday afternoon and Monday evening. I do think it's a mostly cloudy days. And because we have those winds coming out of the east or northeast, that'll keep our temperatures much cooler than what we had today. So overnight, low temperatures in the upper 50s, shower possible before midnight, and then a few sprinkles possible after midnight as well. Tomorrow's temperatures, nowhere close to today, right? Around 58 at 9 o'clock in the morning, noontime 60, 63 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So your Columbus Day is not looking like a washout, but certainly much cooler. And as we look at that seven-day uh, forecast, you can see that we get up to around 75 on Tuesday, Wednesday 78. Now I should point out, no matter where Michael ends up going, it's likely a front does scoot through here Thursday. Thursday and a Friday, and that may end up being kind of attached out ahead of Michael, giving us some downpours, potential of some uh, street flooding, and uh, some of that rain could be heavy at times, especially late Thursday and a Friday. That time it could also shift around a bit, and even some showers are possible into uh, Saturday and Sunday. So we'll be tracking all of that very carefully. And again, Kate, way too early to get you know too worked up about Michael just yet. Obviously, along the Gulf Coast, the chances are much higher there that it affects that area, and we'll keep a close eye on it here as well. In the meantime, we'll be enjoying some summer-like weather in the middle of the week. How about those temperatures for the middle of the week, close to 80 degrees, and not bad today with those temperatures. I know, felt good. Yes, surprisingly, it did. I know. It's <laughs> nice to feel that. It is. Thanks, Pete. Yep. Coming up in sports on Eyewitness News at 6:30, the Red Sox and Yankees taking.